Hey, Trip Zero here in the Red House, the uh, geothermal water greenhouse. And I have a few tomato plants that have some suckers that I let grow. We're going to do some rapid cloning. So there's one right here behind the flowers as well. I'm going to cut these and be very careful about it. So what I'm going to do, I've got a very sharp knife here. I'm going to rub it down with alcohol. But before that, I'm going to just clip kind of where... I'm going to put this uh, little uh, cloner thing around the part that I'm going to... Um, let's see. I probably want it to go about this high. Well... Let's go a bit lower. Let's go right below this branch. And we'll lop off these bottom ones. So, there we go. And that will be fine. So I'm gonna cut it down here at an angle. I'm gonna be very careful not to touch any of this area because the fine hairs that you can see on there, I hope, are what eventually become roots as they're stimulated. Now the rapid process we're going to use is fog. We're going to use a, fo a special fog pomic cloner that I made and uh, see how fast we can get these to root using this method. So I hope it's actually really fast and I hope it works out. So I'm going to get these cut. We'll take them upstairs to the cloner and we'll see you back there. Now I've got these cut and this knife is very sharp. It's pretty scalpel sharp, so it was very easy to just slice through that. And I, again, I refrained from touching this part. I cut off these two branches at the bottom. Now let's cut the other one and then take it upstairs. So we're upstairs in the cloning facility, which is my bathroom. And this is the cloner that I've made. I just got this cap. It's a five gallon bucket black, not going to let any light in, and I just bought this lid, pretty cheap, less than five dollars, and I drilled two holes in them that are just right, si just the right size for these three inch, three and a half inch net pots. I've also drilled out the bottom so I can easily fit the um, plant in and out. And I hope that this is a big enough hole. If not, I can always clip off these edges because obviously when I want to take these out, take the plant out, there's going to be roots growing out of the bottom if all goes well. Um, I have the fog ponic generator going through this hole and you can see at the bottom the fog ponic generator right there. So what we'll do right now is we'll take these net pots out, set them aside, and we're going to put some distilled water in the bottom, but just enough to cover. This has already been um, so I think that be pretty good. Yeah, that should be just fine, I'm hoping. So I will get these plants in and um, well actually I'll plug this in real quick and we'll see if it actually works. So it does work, that is just the right amount of water and that will generate a good layer of fog. It will add uh, some uh, get the uh, roots of these guys very moist. So let's get the plants in and uh, we'll put it on the same timer as our fog ponic, please forgive the light, the fog ponic uh, green beans, we'll put them on the same timer with these uh, splitter cables. So um, it'll have the exact same amount of fog that a plant, a lar much larger plant would enjoy. So we'll get the plants in. 
Now, as part of this experiment, I wanted to see if I could get roots in only a few days, but also I wanted to do one with these this root uh, rooting gel hormone stuff. So let's dip the smaller or thinner plant inside here and put him in the this one. And there's a possibility. Um, I'm gonna press it down and make sure it's nice and firm. Okay, and then this guy will have no rooting hormone. We'll just see how he does. We'll stick him down in there. Be very careful not to damage these fine hairs that are on the side that are going to become roots eventually. So I'm going to put some rocks just to kind of secure that a bit more. Um, I will probably lop off these lower branches just to uh, reduce stress and uh, reduce the amount of moisture it has to move through the system to uh, in the in the transpiration process so I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll take a look All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna throw it, uh, I don't know, you're supposed to keep it dark, but I don't really have a really good way of keeping it dark other than keeping it here in the bathroom. These lights will turn off in uh, probably another half an hour or so. They, they turn off right before sunset. So we should have uh, dark for at least a little bit and I'm hoping the humidity caused by the the fog which some of it's gonna leak up will be enough to keep this uh, from stressing out too much so let's uh, hope for the best all right we'll check on it tomorrow trip zero out so it's been a week and uh, these are what our plants look like so let me uh, tell you what has been going on the last week. Um, this guy, they both actually stressed immediately. And I could have probably avoided that by putting some sort of cover to try and keep the humidity up. That's okay, you can actually see fog coming out. So they're, um, and I've got this going 24 seven, fog generating 24 seven. But I mean, this guy, he's not dead yet. He's stressed. And his roots, see there's not much development there. And I think this is the one that I put the rooting hormone on. So not much development. This guy on the other hand is doing much better, especially today, quite the rebound. So let's, and you can see he has started to take on roots. And I think I'm gonna go put this outside either today or tomorrow and just go ahead and transplant that plant in the ground. Um, and I think he'll be good to go. Uh, he does have a flower bud starting. I might kind of uh, pinch that off if I can. Um, but maybe I'll let it go. Who knows? I think I will let it go. But, so that's the experiment, so this, uh, it actually rooted slower than I thought it would, and that might have been the stress that kind of set it back, but in a, in a, I saw roots at about day five, day six on this guy, so about a week, and uh, in this fog cloning system, and things worked out pretty well. Um, I'll... I've got another sucker to clone and I'll give that a try as, as well. 
and then I'll leave this guy in there for a few more days to see if he rebounds at all. But um, this has been a interesting experiment with uh, using fog conics as a cloning system and 50% uh, success rate so far and we'll see how successful this can be moving forward uh, incorporating different methods like covering them for a few days while uh, to prevent the stress from from taking over so that's it rapid cloning using fog ponics trip zero out